Hello today! We're gonna take a trip down memory lane with the help of the Internet Archive's Wayback Machine. John and I have just recently gotten 10,000 subscribers, and so I wanted to take a little tour of the history of Brotherhood 2.0 and Vlogbrothers, the YouTube channels, and what was going on in our lives and all of the things that happened to us over the years, and how weird used to YouTube used to be. Used to you to be. So this is the Vlogbrothers uh, channel in on Jan December 1st, 2007, which was almost a full year after we started. It was 11 months after we started. We have 9,751 subscribers, which is not a very impressive number nowadays, but it was very impressive back then, which is interesting, and I don't... I want to theorize about, like, what that means, but I don't want to do it here. I'll probably do it in my Vlogbrothers video. Um... We have some recent ratings, several uh, songs from a hat. I don't know if anybody remembers songs from a hat, but that's Abby from Songs from the Hat. And the, the things that it were subscribed to, including Secret Brother Tom and these people who ate horseradish along with John. There's a Philip DeFranco video. Look how young he is. And over here's some YouTube drama. Subscribe to Household Hacker. Number one, YouTube Watchdog has 20 videos removed due to TOS violations. Renetto deleted 250 videos because YouTube is now the big brother. Dave Days becomes YouTube paid partner after only three months on YouTube. So apparently there were paid partners back then. And then there's like comments, lovely comments from people saying that they like us and that they enjoy what we do. So a little bit of information on the design here. Um, I, for people who are particularly curious about that, this is the, the Nerdfighters logo here is directly taken from the Aerofighters logo, which is the game that uh, John thought said Nerdfighters, but actually was Aerofighters. And so I just sort of adapted that very slightly. Uh, the Brotherhood 2.0 thing here was uh, was uh, rendered in Lightwave because I used to do visual effects for a living. Uh, we're going to go now to the next page. Oh, now it is, uh, what is it, May 14th, 2008. So we have progressed significantly. We now have, whoa, we now have 25,000 subscribers. So that happened really fast. It took us a year to get the first 10,000. And then the next vi thing we have... No, it's not. There's there's one in between there. There's one like this is December fifteenth. So two weeks later, we have we have over ten thousand subscribers. So that was very exciting. We got ten thousand subscribers, and uh, and here's some more things that we rated. And is there more YouTube drama? There is more YouTube drama. Oh my gosh, Renetto says the YouTube community is on its last breath because of telemarketers. Oh man, there's been drama forever. Don't worry. If you ever feel like there's a lot of drama. Um, so this is not what this page looked like, by the way. I don't know what happened. The Wayback Machine is not getting all the CSS or something. But this was uh, our Project for Awesome um, layout. So we, we changed uh, our, the layout of our page for the Project for Awesome to this terribly ugly, horrific design with this moving GIF in the banner. Because you could do that back then. Um, and it's worth noting we have 25,000 subscribers and we are 58 most subscribed all-time directors. I, the directors versus partners versus gurus, like, that is a, was a distinction that doesn't exist anymore. Um, and there's this video, Blood, I'm a Killer. That's the video I made the first time that we had had enough views uh, that we had basically uh, had an entire human lifespan spent watching our videos. So that's amazing. What do we got in the comments here? see some comments this one love you guys uh i'd assume you would enjoy this youtube singer songwriter reina del cid i remember reina del cid she sang a song called emily uh and i liked it a lot and i i wonder if that's how i found her through that comment there so we're going to the next one Ooh, better design uh yes this is not i swear this is not what it's supposed to look like it, it also this did not get captured but this, uh, the Skull and Crossbones Nerdfighter design thing, you will be interested to know, was designed by none other than Viheart. Back before Viheart made videos, she made that design. So that's weird. That's just weird internet trivia. Oh, and down here we have uh, the first Hank and John, the appearance of the Hank and John heads. Um, actually, if we click on some of these videos, you might... We might actually see, yeah, see there's some more Hank and John heads. Book eight, another Harry Potter song. Here's what the YouTube watch page looked like. Remember that? Remember those? Whoa. Uh, yeah, so that's what the YouTube, oh, download. You could just download them. They, they don't let you do that anymore. Um, and these Hank and John heads I designed uh, for, for Vlogbrothers um, to stick in various places. And uh, they actually, Penguin has 
stolen, I think you can see this, Penguin has stolen the John head um, and put it on like on the tour bus and on Barnes and Noble gift cards. And so this John head has now has like a huge life outside of me. Um, and no one ever asked my permission for that, but I don't complain about it. All right, no, another design. We are now on December 24th of 2008. So another year has passed. We now have 53,000 subscribers. So the first year we got 10,000. The second year, we got more than 40,000 subscribers in over the year. Um, this was a terrible, terrible design. Um, again, this is not what it's supposed to look like, um, but this is still, it's terrible. That's nice. I like this. So Paper Towns is out, and I'm, I've done this little advertisement for John. Little love him. Um, ooh, some underappreciated YouTubers. We have Molly Lewis, CISO. I don't know if anybody remembers CISO, but he has a moving GIF as his icon. And I remember CISO held on to that longer than anybody else. Other people upgraded their icon, but you couldn't continue to have the moving GIF. Um, but CISO... He may still have the moving GIF as an icon because he doesn't make YouTube videos anymore. Dr. Noise, Shark Eye Jones, Monica of the Short Sisters, Catherine, ElfQuest, Fresned, the guy behind Story War and other things, Winfleet, uh, who was a huge nerd fighter, made all kinds of great things happen for us. One Day to Be Awesome, which was a nice vlog project. Priscilla and Pathos, they did a really great uh, Project for Awesome video that year, I remember. Um, Moving on to 2000, okay, this is 2009 still, and keep clicking. Now we're now, now at 68,000 subscribers. This was a design that I, I do not like. I'm not proud of this one, so it's fine that it's covered up. So what do we say in the, in the sidebar here? Hank and John Green, brothers for over 28 years, decided not to write each other, not write to each other during 2007, make video, 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 Um... A favorite retired vlogger, Zay Frank. We kept a link to Zay Frank for a long time on the Vlogbrothers channel because we, we owe him a great debt. Um, we are the most 50, 59 most viewed channel this week. Check that out. I mean, it's so weird. 68,000 subscribers. Like, if somebody has 68,000 subscribers now, like, that's a big deal. That's, like, but it's certainly not a million subscribers. We have the same... Uh, so it's, I mean, and a lot of the videos that I'm most proud of happened during this era. So like, you know, the, the 2009, that's a long time ago, man. It's a long time ago. That was when, um, that was right uh, when I was doing a lot of, several of my favorite songs that I wrote happened during this era because that was when um, there was a, uh, I'm trying not to look at the design so I don't get distracted. There was a songwriting contest and I forgot what it's called, but I did it and I wrote um, Anglerfish and um, I guess it all makes sense at the end, and uh, I know the song with ten words. So I wrote those songs as part of that prompt. Welcome to our new channels beta. Um, I love, I love this design. This was done by Shark Eye Jones. Obviously, it was not done by me. My CD is out. It's got. It's also done by Shark Eye Jones. We got. I got to just sort of like do this as a comic book sort of feel. Um, and there's all this down here, which is fun. We got to have so much stuff. Underappreciated YouTubers now, Michael Aranda, Michelud, Molly, uh, and the rest of these are all the same. Um, so yeah, this was nice. This was good. And then we've got recent activity. That's not so nice, but all this up here, I like all of this. This is okay. But I remember this design coming out and people being super angry, super angry. Did that design change very slightly between those two? It did. I uh, I added a, a little hash in the background on this one, which is better. I do like that better. Oh, and Lolcat with a Ball Bat, a video illustrated by Shark Eye Jones. This was just like Shark Eye Jones Utopia right now. Let's just get to a, a new design here. What do we What do we got though? What do we got in terms of? Uh, oh, this is better. They've They've updated the the new channel design, and it, it is it is nicer now. Um. Does it say how many subscribers we have somewhere? There it is. It's down here. Uh, we have 116,000 subscribers. So we have, for the first time, broken 100,000 subscribers. It's October 29th, 2009. We're going to jump forward here to February 19th, 2010. We have another new design. I like this one a lot as well. Still incorporating the Hank and John heads that I drew ages and ages and ages and ages ago. Um, we're getting about 150,000 100 150, uh, views per video. Um, an extremely brief history of Super Bowl commercials uh, with 20,000 views. Uh, still our least viewed video because YouTube wanted me to make that video in a very in a certain way uh, and upload it 
uh, after make it live after I uploaded it, and so no one saw it. It didn't get broadcasted to anyone, and and I like got paid for that to make that video, and they. And I was like, it's not going to get viewed if you do it that way. And they're like, we know what we're doing. And I was like, you actually, you don't, which is the funny part. Also, Admiral Akbar loves the vlog brothers, favorite YouTubers of the day. We have Wheezy Waiter, Dan Brown. Uh, is it a good idea to microwave this? Rhett and Link, DFTBA Records, and Mika Kitty. We're the number 33 most subscribed all time channel for directors. And, the mo and number 92 most viewed today. So uh, that'll give you an idea of how YouTube was in 2009 and 2010. Not as big as you might think. Though this has 8,000 ratings, which is a lot. Nerdfighters, Nerdfighteria has always been the most active. Oh, and we're almost at 200,000 subscribers now. So it's 2010. We've almost got 200,000 subscribers. I'm sure we will have it. Nope, that was like the next day. Give me, give me, something, give me something to work with here. Still the same. We just stopped growing completely. Oh man, are you are you not going forward? Are you broken? You are, you're broken, you're just not going forward. Okay, we're gonna jump forward to July here. It is now June, it's June 16th, and we have 269,000 subscribers, and for some reason this is in German. Maybe, I think that's my guess. I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. I don't know why it's in German. I guess that's the Wayback Machine just uh, was sp spidering the German version. Um, we're going to do another big jump here. Uh, and now we've got this design, which I liked a lot as well. Um, so most of our designs happen, our design changes happen right at the new year. I did that for a while. I stopped doing it. Now we have 442,000 subscribers. So it's just weird. Our favorites of the day. Truth or Fail, Hank Games, Elmify, Uncultured Project, Vi Heart, and James at War. That's when Vi Heart was just starting to make videos. 35,000 subscribers. Check that out. So cool. Uh, less than Elmify. So that's that's the world that we live in. Um, and we got Alex Day here wearing a giraffe love shirt. So uh, if we go forward any more here, we're just going to start seeing things that almost everybody will be familiar with. So I'm, I, I'm going to, let's just go to the most recent design. I think that should get us into it. Nope, it didn't. I went back to the red. Oh, yeah, there it is. I went back to the, the red stuff with Von Del Swain's Nerve Fighter Crest. I don't think we're using the Hank and John head anywhere, but this is the current Vlogbrothers page. Uh, at this point, June, July 13th, 2012, we have 700,000 subscribers. It's weird how fast and strange it's all happened, but, all, but also how um, really what's interesting about it is the level of engagement of Nerdfighteria, and that was very high at the beginning and uh, has remained very high throughout the project, and that's always been what's most interesting about it to us. And so it's while now we have a million subscribers and then we had 10,000, it still feels like we're doing the same thing and we're creating content for the same people in the same way. And that's, you know, I, I, that, that feels really good. That feels really nice. That feels right to me. And um, I'm proud of that. And um, yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, and also it's just important to, to note for people who have 10,000 subscribers now that it's not... It feels like success should be, subconsciously, we measure success by comparing ourselves to people around us. And so back in 2007, when we had two, like 2,000 subscribers, but like we were one of the top video channels on YouTube, we felt like a humongous success. And now people with 2,000 subscribers do not because they have, you know, Smosh and Nigahiga to compare themselves to. And of course, I've been comparing myself to Smosh and Nigahi the whole time, and, and they have always been far larger channels than Vlog Brothers. But um, the, yeah, it's been, it's, but it's, it's, it's still like, while that is the subconscious like feeling that we have about success, it doesn't actually reflect reality. What, uh, what's, what's reality is that if you have two thousand engaged people watching your videos that is as successful as the vlog brothers was in 2007 when we thought that we had the coolest thing in the world happening to us um and we were kind of right so uh never never feel like you aren't successful just because they're uh, uh just because you're not one of the top thousand youtube channels um because it's just a different a different world now and it's not about 
number of views. It's about the engagement and the interest and the people who like what you do, including you. So that was an interesting trip down memory lane. We can go now to the most recent and and see. I don't know if it's captured since we got a million. It hasn't. It hasn't captured since we got a million. But um, we had 932,000 subscribers on February 2nd, 2013. Oh, wow, and actually the video worked. Um, fascinating. So thank you for watching this trip down memory lane. You will not see me and I'll not see you, but you actually may see me if it's, uh, it, it is, you know, if I just make a normal video. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, but you will hear me next time. Ooh, donate your sperm. Goodbye.